Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be testing out the uh, driver monitoring system. Somebody asked about it in the comments from my previous video. And what I'll do now is take off my hat, take off my sunglasses, and, and see how it reacts if I'm, for instance, maybe looking at uh, my phone. Well, let's do it like fake. Um, so right now I'm no longer looking at the road. I'm just staring at the phone. And actually, let me let me just count it down. Maybe from like, well, maybe when we pass this biker over here. Okay, so I'm gonna be staring at my phone right now, and I won't be looking at the road. So I'm still looking at it, pretending like I'm. <laughs> using it, still not looking at the road, halfway, okay, sorry, I glanced at the road a little bit, because I'm a little scared, but still looking at the phone, no warnings yet, I just glanced at the road again, and just very uncomfortable, interesting, uh, alright, I'm going to stop looking at the fake phone, um, yeah, the driver monitoring did not give me any issues that was kind of uh, a little a little scary might have to ask epilog about that because um, I'm used to the driver monitoring being very vigilant um, and I was staring at my fake phone for a while maybe it's head position so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stare over this way to see what it does then actually I'll do it after this light over here. Alright, so now I'm going to be looking in that direction. My head is no longer facing the road, and it doesn't look like driver monitoring is going to be nagging me. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay, okay, so I just turned the wheel, it got back into it, but interesting, that was quite a while. Um, it was also interesting that it didn't activate until I turned my head fully to the left over there. And I'm going much slower than the speed limit, let's go a little faster. Um, okay, I mean... At least we know that there is driver monitoring, but it doesn't seem to be based on where my gaze is, unless it doesn't capture that. I mean, I am, uh, I guess, like Asian descent, so maybe the model can't see my, my eyes. Um, I don't know, but we do know now that if you do look, if your head is fully posed away from the road, it will triggered the driver monitoring alert and give me a second here I'm gonna actually turn it down to like 45 miles an hour because I know it'll stop for cars then oh actually I need to take over anyways this is a, uh, a funny light all right complete stop and go Now I intend on finding a piece of road that should be quite dead to see if, to see what it'll actually do when I don't uh, perform any action after the driver monitor alert has turned on. And so to clarify, uh, there was an audio cue from the unit itself. Uh, it was like a, a dinging that happened and there was also a prompt on my dashboard that said um, I think touch steering rear for to resume LTA so that's a lane tracing assist and so it is nice that we at least have two points of um, I guess notifications for the user to, to act on okay so I found this farm road and I think from what I'm seeing on the map, there shouldn't be any 
intersections that are uh, being used. And what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to set the cruise control at the lowest that it can go, which I believe is around 19 miles per hour. And I'm hoping that the system can navigate this road because uh, there are no lane markings. There's no shoulders. It's just literally a paved road with foliage and, and grass on the side. So again, it, it might be a good test to see how it is without lane lines. But the main point of this is to see how it acts um, when the driver monitoring is triggered and I don't do anything to stop that trigger. So let's see how this goes. Um, my assumption, sorry, not assumption, but I think the theory is that uh, when the driver monitoring is triggered and there's no action from the driver's side to uh, get rid of it, it's supposed to keep steering, but then slow down to a stop. And let's find out if that's actually true. All right, I've never actually done this before. Uh, um, let's see how it goes. So I'm gonna, no one's behind me, no one's asking the road. I think there might be a road coming up, but, oh, sorry, an intersection. But once I get past that, maybe once I get past this bridge, I'll, I'll, I'll start the test. And I'm gonna take off my sunglasses again. Man, it's bright. And, all right, wait, is that a car up ahead? It looks like a car. Or is that a house or something? What is that? I think it's a house. I wonder if I put my sunglasses back on. Maybe it's a car coming up. It doesn't seem to be getting closer. All right, let's try this test out. Okay, so gonna get going. Sunglasses off, no hat on, um, and I'll activate the system now. All right, so it, 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 is, it set itself to 19 miles an hour, and what I'll do now is I'll face that way and see if it'll activate the driver monitoring, and then let's see what it does when I don't do anything about it. really quick to make sure that okay there is a car there but I don't think it's heading towards us all right and I haven't looked at the road in a bit my head's turned this way is that car coming no it is just stopped there driver monitoring has not been triggered Getting closer to that car. I will say it's doing really well without these lane markings, but I am getting way too close to the car and nothing has happened. My head's been turned this way the entire time. Okay, there he goes. Getting closer to the car though. All right, the alarms are getting higher, louder. Oh, okay. Okay, so this, there was actually someone in that car. But, um, I don't know if the driver monitor stopped for that car as if it's like a lead car. Um, but the alarms did get louder, and then the car slowed down. So what I'll do is I'll turn the car around. Hopefully, that person in that car, um, goes all the way through, and we'll have more runway. But I'm wondering if, well, I can look back once I edit the video to see what um, what what's the timing like for that driver monitor I felt like it was a bit but I, mean, I, could, I could also just be freaking out because it's, it is quite a dangerous test um, and maybe it actually isn't that long but it, it felt really long All right, I think that car is past there. Let's try this test again. So putting into drive, and then I'm going to 
gasset and turn on the system now. All right, so it's gonna go 19 miles an hour. I'm gonna face this way again and let's see what happens. So I'm literally, oh, okay, the driver monitoring already turned on and the uh, audio is getting louder and louder. Again, there's no one, okay, so there's the final alert and it came to a stop. Yeah, complete stop, wow. So, neat. Hold steer, so it says, so you hear the alarm going off and then there's the LTA hold steering wheel and I'm gonna cancel it right now and neat. All right, so I'm gonna stop the cars. I think from here on out, the more often I do the driver monitoring, the I think the less time it's gonna take for that thing to get triggered. Actually, let's find out. So I'm gonna get going, start it, look to my left again, and see how far how fast that driver monitoring um, starts doing its thing again. So I'm not looking at the road. I'm looking at these green beautiful hills over here there's the driver monitoring so now it's light louder louder loudest I think now 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 I feel it breaking loud beeping and complete stop neat all right so I'm gonna turn that off and then I'm gonna actually put my car in park and then turn off the system hopefully it like resets it and then there I go. And let's get going. Cool. So, yeah, so a commenter asked to try out the driver monitoring system. Um, and I hope that little demonstration answers it. Uh, I have a feeling people are going to ask, like, how does it react? If it's like on the highway, is it like a hard break? Is it like a smooth, gradual break? Because at 19 miles an hour, obviously, you, know, you can you can brake pretty hard and it won't be as you won't be as like jarring because you're going so slow to begin with um, I don't know if I want to test it on the highway I don't, I don't know of any highways around here that would allow me to test from like 60 plus miles an hour down to zero I, unless I do it at like maybe 2 a.m. but even then there's just so much like deliveries happening around that time or whatever so I, I don't think I'm going to be testing out that the driver monitor system, uh, driver monitoring system, on the highway. Uh, I think the test we had on this uh, this really dead road was hopefully sufficient to get an understanding of how the driver monitoring acts. So I hope y'all found that helpful. And if you want more tests, uh, let me know, and I'll be happy to try them out for you. Thanks for watching.